Happening locally live at 5, Omaha police are looking for a man they say is responsible for a double murder this weekend. Thanks for joining us. I'm Mallory Maddox. And I'm Joe Chiodo. Police say 53-year-old Michael Nolt shot and killed Malquan King and Arlius Hassel at this home near 45th and Curtis Streets. This happened on Saturday. Nolt still on the loose and police say he should be considered armed and dangerous. John Chapman continues our coverage. People who live in the area of 45th and Curtis are afraid to talk about what happened here early Saturday morning. Police say it was about 2 a.m. when two men were shot and killed in this home. A female victim was injured. Police say six children were in the home when all the shooting was going on. They were not harmed. Police say 53-year-old Michael Note is responsible for the killings. Police have issued a warrant for his arrest. He is considered armed and dangerous. Police say Note was familiar with his victims. We have been working with the, the Fort Wayne, Indiana and West Haven, Indiana Police Departments um, because we believe that uh, Nolt could be uh, in their jurisdictions. Uh, he does have connections to in Indiana, as do uh, the victims in this, this homicide. Charles Hodges lives close to the murder scene. He's concerned about his neighborhood. You want to be able to sit out on your porch and whatever, you know, enjoy your home. And it's getting crazy. It's getting crazy. With a killer on the loose, people who live in this neighborhood are worried. Hodges says this neighborhood has had to deal with murder before. About three years ago, across the street over there, a kid was sitting in his car and got killed. You know, somebody came up and shot him up. So they did get those. So that's a good thing. Hodges is hoping this double murder has the same ending with the killer behind bars. With photographer Alex Hassel, John Chapman, WOWT 6 News. Police have released a description of Nolt. He is white. He stands 5 feet 11 inches tall, weighs about 160 pounds, has gray hair and hazel eyes. We're told he does wear eyeglasses. If you know where he might be, you're asked to call Omaha Police.